Nanocoatings. So how do we how will we would use a nano coating for a mobile phone? So uh, we have two surfaces here. It's not one is uh, hydrophobic and the other one is super hydrophobic. I can show you how they behave. So this hydrophobic surface is similar to what you would find uh, on your cookware with uh, Teflon. So it's water repellent, the water doesn't stick. But this is now super hydrophobic. So in principle we can build that sensor onto something like this. And not only does it not stick, it just it doesn't want to be there. It, it just shoots off. So the telephone you can go to the hydrophobic surface where the water disappears off the surface. But underneath the telephone last year, where there's a layer of graphene, we'll display. Yeah, I saw that. And graphene is so this is thinking one atom of new material. So yeah, we what what are those new materials? It's basically it can be made to be see through. It's also very flexible, bendable. And it's a uh, conductor. Can you run the, the graphene there? Yeah. Please. Okay, so this, this, this technology can be used for a phone that hasn't been specifically designed to be waterproof. So like this one, because it has holes and split lines, it's never going to be waterproof, but we can use these kind of materials to improve it. If we can get those super hydrophobic coatings on the outside of the then suddenly you get extra features like anti-reflection coating, you get uh, better resistance to fingerprints, and uh, not just easy clean, but self-cleaning.